I think that uh, there are many uh, issues uh, going on, uh, not only within the insurance sector, uh, but also within uh, industry. Um, and I, I think it's, it's, it's quite equal. Um, of course, we have to, um, to, to adapt uh, to the risk landscape. Um, we, we have to know about all the threats that are going on. And um, many people at the conference, they were talking about uh, new developments like uh, big data, uh, industry 4.0, and also, um, I think uh, what most people uh, did not uh, bear in mind is, is uh, the, the broad field of artificial intelligence. So uh, that will be one of the major uh, uh, topics uh, for the future. I think there should be solutions um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on an entirely different scale, not only within insurance companies, uh, but it, it should really embrace um, private life, business life, it should embrace the governments as well as, as uh, the role of finance and insurance. Uh, and therefore, uh, like I, I told already, we, we need to know where are the vulnerabilities, where are uh, uh, the threats, what kind of threat actors do emerge, uh, in, in what kind of way, in what kind of way they, 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 they try to, to exploit all these vulnerabilities uh, in order to get uh, the critical assets. Um, you know, we have to safeguard these assets, we have to safeguard critical infrastructure. And I think also uh, insurance is playing a, a very, very decisive role uh, in that respect. Yeah, you know, um, I was talking about uh, a lack of legislation. Um, it's, it's all around the world. Some uh, countries uh, like Germany, uh, they have implemented new laws um, to shelter critical infrastructure. Um, to, uh, to urge companies to disclose uh, cyber attacks uh, because we, we need to get these examples uh, in order to learn from them. Uh, and, and each cyber claim uh, with respect to insurance and each uh, um, cyber incident um, that has been uh, notified uh, to governments, secret services, to authorities and also to the insurance sector, it may help prevent business from other uh, cyber attacks. Well, um, as I said in my little speech, I think uh, the situation is, is quite similar in South Africa uh, in comparison to Germany. Um, I think it's, it's all about, um, it's all about uh, to safeguard, um, especially uh, the small and medium-sized companies because the lack of awareness, uh, and that's one of the key findings um, from my former career for uh, the domestic uh, intelligence service, the key finding is that especially small and mid-sized companies, that they have that lack of awareness, they have that lack of security controls. And I think also here in South Africa, uh, that uh, market plays a severe role um, and uh, uh, they contribute to your economy. And uh, therefore, uh, especially in South Africa, they should also take care uh, of that kind of businesses. Uh, you know, these innovative businesses, small, uh, the hidden champions, small business, uh, I think that's very important and decisive.